Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Android Villain back with another video review. Uh, this time I will be reviewing the uh, Cyanogen Mod 10.1 Custom ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GT i9100. Um, so, a couple things uh, right off the bat. I want to say this ROM uh, is probably one of the newer ROMs out there, if not the newest ROM. Uh, for the GTI 9100. Um, with that being said, there's a lot of uh, a lot of things I don't like about this ROM. Uh, I just want to go through a review of some of the things that I'm finding this ROM is lacking um, compared to some of the other ROMs that are out there uh, that I will be reviewing in the near future. Um, so first of all, one of the big things that was really really upsetting about this ROM is the fact that uh, you cannot access the developer options. There is no developer options within this ROM. Uh, as you may know, if you go to your system settings and you were to scroll to the bottom of the list, you would have at the second last uh, option on the list would normally be the developer options uh, in which you can go in and you can actually uh, do things like uh, enable the overview hard lay um, as well as uh, GP, GPU overlay um, so that you can do things like uh, use screencast to uh, record audio and video of what's happening on your Android. Um, so I find that very frustrating because as you can see that um, basically what I'm looking at at this picture here, I'm seeing a blue background behind the, the Cyanogen mod uh, character. Uh, but what you're seeing on the screen is actually orange. Uh, for some reason, again, you can't access the developer options to fix any of this uh, color mistakes that's going on. Uh, as you can see in the top left corner, um, I'm looking at a red recording dot. However, you're seeing it as blue. Um, so <coughs> I find this very frustrating when you're trying to do things on your phone and you want to have accurate color. Um, so... Again, you can't access the developer options. It makes it very uh, frustrating uh, for when you're doing reviews and things like this. Although it does give it a cool feel. People think, wow, maybe that's custom. But no, uh, it's not custom. It's just the way the video turns out. Um, so that's one of the things that's really uh, bothering me about this particular ROM. Uh, another thing that bothers me about the ROM is that if you look in the top right corner uh, next to the left of the time, um, you can see our battery icon and our battery icon is like a pie shape um, me I guess I'm old school I prefer to have the actual battery icon uh, where the battery would be draining from the top to the bottom as opposed to the circle icon um, and uh, another thing that really bothers me about this app that I don't like in particular is uh, there's no battery percentage there's nothing in here within the settings to go and find your battery percentage I could click on battery and it's gonna give us uh, just basically an overview of what's going on in the last so long with our battery so uh, those are two things that I don't like about this uh, this particular ROM another thing is that I had to flash the gaps package in order to have access to any of the Google uh, the Google Apps. I find that a hassle. I'm hoping that'll be a fix in the near future. A lot of ROMs do. You do have to flash the uh, gaps to uh, get yourself having a Google Market and um, all of your essential Google, um, all of your essential Google apps that you would need to uh, sign in through Google with. Um, another thing about this I don't like is that uh, it's just kind of plain. There's nothing really to it. Um, I mean, I've gone ahead and I've set it up, you know, almost to exactly how I'd like it. I guess there's a couple other features in here that I do kind of find interesting. There's the uh, DSP manager, uh, which allows you to mess around with, uh, you know, and equalize the different parts. Uh, anything to do with your sound. For instance, there's, uh, you know, quite a few options here for your headset. Your speaker options on where you can go ahead and change uh you know change up the decibel levels from your your high pitch to your mid volume into your your bottom sound 
and you can also adjust your Bluetooth uh, settings there. Um, it comes with the Apollo player. I'm not a big fan of the Apollo player. Um, you know, I do prefer the Rocket player or the uh, stock music player over the Apollo player. Um, so yeah, not much to this app. Uh, comes with the terminal emulator for those of you who don't know what that is I won't even get into that um, but yeah not much going on too special with the cyanogen mod 10.1 custom ROM um, again uh, thanks for watching the video guys I appreciate all the you know all the love I'm getting out there um, please subscribe please go ahead and like the videos you know we will be able to reach a broader audience if uh, there's more likes on the videos subscribe comment uh, let me know what you think of the Cyanogen Mod 10.1 for the S2 GTI i9100. I you know, I'd like to hear about your experiences. If there's uh, some things I've touched on here, like developer options, uh, you know, perhaps I didn't dig deep enough. But I do find myself not to be a novice uh, when it comes to custom ROMs and uh, Android phones or tablets. Um, but again, this is a little bit frustrating, uh, especially for someone like me who's trying to do video reviews. Uh, and this mod... Uh, this particular custom ROM, uh, the way it's modded, it just doesn't handle the color and things well. So, again, everybody, this is Android Villain. Uh, please like the video, comment on the video, and please subscribe. Let's keep it moving. Thanks very much. Until next time, peace.